the saga continues for Stacy Rosenthal. I had to think of her name. I'm about to call her Rosie. But uh, I'm calling. Initially on this call, I call for Clark. He is the director of leasing. And I'll um, preface this by saying, shouldn't he, if he leases the whole building, shouldn't he be connected to this person that has the trust in their name in, in that LLC? Or give me your opinion because I don't want my mind, I know how my mind is, it gets to flying all over the place. But I'm thinking this might be some sort of front name, like, oh, she calls, ask for that person. Anyways, let's roll with the call. Hello, Clark. Uh, my name is Julie, Br and I'm trying to get in contact with Stacy Rosenthal. Um, I do not know who that is. Hmm. Who are you, who are you trying to call? You call the business. Um, you know that? Right, I'm aware. Oh, okay. Cool. There cool. is a, um, my social security number is connected to a trust that is, uh, in the business name. Okay, and what's the business name you're calling for, just, just to clarify, just to make sure you're calling the right business? Okay, um, let me make sure, let me just pull up the information here. It's, uh, the business name is listed by, by your address. 29, 299 Park Avenue is the uh, LLC's name. So we, did the, did you just described um, an address, so the address, is, it's a 42-story building, so there's probably, there's a number of businesses in here, and obviously a lot of employees that work for the businesses, so it could potentially be another business in this building you're looking for? Um... Nope, because that is the uh, the legal name. So I don't know if there's somebody head up over the entire building. I honestly don't know how I can help you. I wish I could. I just I I've never heard of that person, and I don't know really what you're looking for. Okay, so you're in office, right? I am in an office. Yes. Okay. So, and you don't run the building, correct? No, I do not run this building, but I'm still confused how the, the name you gave me has anything to do with the building, um, how, I, how, how I can help you. I, I handle leasing here for the company, so if there's a company, like a business that wants to come in and you know, sign a lease in the building, I generally kind of assist them in that, but I don't know who Stacy Rosenthal is, and I don't know the connection to 299 Park. Right, and it may be, it may be above you. And that's when the call just mysteriously ends. So here's the call that I made today. And you'll see what happens. Let me know. Good afternoon, Mark Peckland's office. Hello, I'm calling for Stacy Rosenthal. I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Uh, state, hello? I want to bring up something that's really strange and I definitely want to put out there to you guys after I spoken to this guy that I just that call I just uh, let you hear right there I called back and a woman answered and of course she was pissy she's like oh you keep calling he's gone there's nobody here by that name blah 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 and just hung up on me and uh, about 20 minutes later, I was on the phone and I was on live, matter of fact. And uh, some of you guys remember that I said, I'm getting a call from a 313 number. I don't know this number. That's a Detroit number. And um, <laughs> I think you guys are like, don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. And I'm like, I got off live and I called it back. That number is disconnected. I don't know how you call from a disconnected number. But. You know what happens when you you don't answer your phone and you miss a call? That's what it looks like. And that's me calling back um, a little bit later. I'm like, well, forget it. I'm, I'm just going to call. Whatever. Who, who is it? It's disconnected. So 
call it yourself. There, there's the proof right there. Maybe I'm losing it. Moving on. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I'm sitting here in 30 minutes. Crypto is supposed to go live. I guess Heather has been arrested. Heather has been arrested. So let me know what y'all know on that. Connect the dots, Lord.